I'm CT. When I'm not busy being Arrow the podcaster, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody has to have a job, right? Mine just happens to be CS, customer service. You know, solutions, relationships, while keeping my team pumped up and motivated to keep a constant connection with every person who has chosen to stop into our location. Episode number 121, Badly Injured. Breaking down high prices and no plastic bags. Again. This is CTCS. Transition walk. Day number one out of two. Yeah, I got a live performance tomorrow and Saturday night. Back on the road again. Yeah. I'm playing a really tough game as I try to walk through this forest today. Not only is it a very chilly 32 degrees, but I fell the other night and uh, slipped on rainwater and have I've done some, some junk to my leg. In a great deal of pain. This is going to be my second day with this. And uh, so, you know, it's always that, let me go walk it off type of thing. Maybe that's the generation I come from. Just get up, walk it off. Walk it off. But we're headed into CS. And uh, we're going to see how well we do. Because that's nine hours on my feet on an injured leg. What was that that you just said? I said, what's up, life alert? <laughs> how you feeling? Sore. Very sore. I, mean, I, just, I know you said you didn't want any jokes, so I didn't want to come down... <laughs> I've been thinking all morning, what's, what, what's the first thing I'm going to say to him? And I was like, should I get a walker? Should I get a, something? And then I was like, no, nah, I don't know how serious it is. I'll wait. I don't want to piss him off or anything like that. All right. Good deed of the day. You know, because it's so cold here in the Carolinas, getting down into the teens at night and stuff, people's batteries are getting the crap beat out of them. So uh, they're taking a big beating, and, uh, and they're not starting at grocery stores. So you just say, let's go. I got the cables. Let's go start that monkey up. Let's go have some fun. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to get to know who your community is out here in the real world. You knew she'd come back. For that? Yes. For the chicken and beer. Right. So what happened is, is that we had a guest that uh, um, paid for the food, chicken, and two foster beers, and some uh, potato salad. And it said she just walked out. And so up here in customer service, we're all going, well, do I put it back? No, don't put it back. She's she's going to come back. You don't leave behind chicken and foster beer. When did they tag you the men's bathroom? Yesterday. Really? really? Was it a gang or was it two just smart-ass teenagers? Probably two smart-ass teenagers because that is not gang word. Yeah, well, it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. You kids, front and parkers, they're not allowed to have those. <laughs> I, I just wish I'd keep the backpacks out. That too. We haven't done this in a while. What would you do? Here's the setup. A coworker, an employee of this store, walks up to me in customer service and says, Hey, can I hey, can I get this smartphone charger? Open it up, just charge everything up on it, and then when I'm done with it, I, I'll just put it back in the packaging again. What would you do? What would you do in a situation like that? Would you say, yes, you can do that because, you know, hey, you're not going to break it or anything with a one-time use? Or would you say, no, the very second you open that and you haven't paid for it, that's called stealing. What would you do? I told him he couldn't have it. See if like, anybody from self-checkout just comes over there and dumps it in there. Or not even self-checkout. Produce will walk by and do it. Yeah, people yeah. in every other department. Which is what I don't understand. Someone will leave a fucking loaf of bread in the milk section. They'll walk all the way up here and drop it off. Yep. And they could have literally went from the bread aisle and put it there. Right. But we're all supposed to put it up. Yeah, but you know, you know what happens though at night though is that the MOD will walk around and they call clients to see yeah. They have to put it back. We're, yep. we're already busy up here. No. Oh, well, uh, we got into it because now apparently front end's job is to take the fucking chairs down for the bar area. Take them down? Yeah. And, and and so we made it clear that, look, we got no shit to do up here. So there's a lady in the back with a big roll-around suitcase and a shopping right. cart. Right. The shopping cart has a couple of other personal items in it. Yeah. She looks like she's experiencing homelessness. Okay. I got 20 bucks. You got a uniform. You got a nice CT shirt on. Oh, is she, this is her right here. Her she's right here, right behind okay. us. And so, you know, she's going okay. up aisle number off. one right now. Well, Take so, off and put put my twenty on her bill. Okay, but she, but I but when she comes through the line, the only yeah. the only thing is she, we have to make sure she gets through the line. Yeah, and so but she will, right? I hope. I hope. Yeah. So many times they don't, but I hope. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> and we will have a follow up on this. Yes, we'll have a follow up conversation. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That was the most odd way of doing Western Union. Gentleman wants to send money to a country, M A Y A N A, and uh, I ask him for his driver's license. He's a little reluctant, and he goes, "Hey, if if they don't pick up the money, can I get my money back?" And I'm going, "Is this a telemarketing?" And he looks at me, 
I said, because you cannot, you cannot send it to a telemarketer. That, that really is against the law. And he kept looking at me and he goes, so if I put it on there, do I get my money back if they don't get it? And, and it's like you, I tried to explain to him, you know, get in touch with Western Union, find your security that you know inside your heart you're doing the right thing, and, and then we'll, we'll make this happen. And he goes, no, I don't think they're going to pick it up. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you trying to send it if you really believe they're not going to pick it up? Did she go through the line? She went through the line. Uh-huh. Cashier scanned up a date and came to $26 and change. Yeah. So I said, somebody came in and paid it forward. $20, so you might have to pay $6.67. Like, really? Really? <laughs> like, yeah. She goes, well, that's much needed and, 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 and very, very needed right now. I'm like, just pay it forward. Yep, there you go. There you go. Oh, was it touching? It was. I've always been a little lost on this one. Why are the tortilla shells next to the milk? Tortilla shells and milk. They, they, they don't go together. You know, you would think the bread aisle, right? No, no. Since getting here in three years ago, it's always been by the milk. If you can figure this out, please reach out to me and let me know. I mean, are they buying the space because they know people are always going to go after the milk? And so therefore it's like, oh my God, I forgot. Tortilla shells, I need some. Oh, no, I'm not no. the price of bread today, buddy. Kind of sucks. It's I don't understand why it has to be four dollars for a loaf. Used to be a dollar fifty, a, a dollar if that. Mm. Um, now, is this the reason why so many people do come over here and just stand here looking at the bread? I mean, it's it's almost like I mean, because they do all day. They'll they'll stand here like this and just look at the bread. I do a lot of my shopping on, on prices. Personally, I do a lot of my shopping on. Me too, especially when it's like a buy two get three free. Man, I'm on that one. I don't care if I eat it or not. I'm I'm on it. I have to have it. Well, so nowadays the, the trick is to conceive you into paying the inflated price. Right, right. Oh, exactly. Well, see, that's what they're doing with the Coke products. It's that you have to buy three in order to get it for three fifty nine. Well, it's the same price what you were paying. <laughs> <laughs> who's the who's the dumb in here? Yeah, right. who's, who's the dumb? <laughs> But I thought food prices were supposed to be coming down. But I mean, look at this. That bread is six ninety nine a loaf. Too much. Too much. We have a theft that's about ready to go down. Two suspects, uh, guys that are known for stealing. What they do is they come in and they try to divert our attention. First thing they do is they go into the beer section because they know we're going to go there first and follow them there. So then you have to wonder what's the other guy up to? What area did he go into? Probably maybe the meat department or go into an area where he can get an expensive food as well. So, But we've got uh, security as well as the rest of the team on this. Here's how this one wrapped up. Uh, they did come out of the alcohol section with uh, with beer, and uh, the, surprisingly, though, they went to uh, they went up to register number one. And the thing is, is that uh, uh, you can't just come in and expect us not to ask you for your ID. And he was standing there looking at her, at our lady at the register, and he's going, "Don't you think I look 30 years old?" She says, "I don't care if you look like you're 40 years old. You have to have an ID in order to do something here." So he gets all pissed off and and uh, throws the beer back down. Says, all right, I'm, "I'm just." Getting the fuck out of here then transition walk day number two out of four well not really uh i'm not going in to see us today i got a performance tonight my god i am so injured and being there yesterday for all those hours walking around uh pretty hard on the body so second day of this this injury i'm in the forest now i don't know if you can tell how windy it is out here but uh, I'm just basically just stumbling around. Uh, I, I can't take a full step at all. But you know what? Uh, maybe it's time. Time to go to a, somebody that knows what the hell they're doing and not somebody in CS who thinks, oh, you know, I've been injured before. You know, come on, get up, walk it off. Transition walk. Okay, this is supposed to be day number three out of four. Uh, two of the days, I'm live on stage. Had a great performance last night. My God, there were a lot of people, a lot of people screaming and singing along and jumping up and down. It was the first time in a long time that I actually felt the floor vibrate at one of these events. And uh, that, that's always a great feeling uh, when people are jumping up and down so much that you, that you can feel that vibration. wonder what would happen if that 
took place at the grocery store. <laughs> hey, a medical update. Um, the, the fall that I took the other night, uh, all the research is showing that uh, as I fell back on my on my hip and my lower back, uh, that I could have some static nerve problems. And uh, if you're in retail or just any anywhere in life and you have problems with your static nerve, uh, you pretty much know what I'm going through. But the show has to go on tonight. I still have another performance tonight, and then I'm back in CS tomorrow. You just got to work your way through it. And that means sitting your ass down on a big old chunk of ice. Transition walk. Day number four out of four. Headed back in to see us today. Woo! Two unbelievable live performances. Woo! And the body's rocking. Still rocking. Uh, you know, here we are. Day number four. I think one of the things, and I've written about this a lot, and that is uh, when you take a couple of days off to do something you stay in that mindset and you've got to retrain your thinking process. So to be in front of those people again at uh, at the grocery store today, it's going to be tough in the very beginning, but I've got to be truthful with my fight. And that is, is that, you know what? You're here for a reason to locate solutions. I don't know if you understood what that pet peeve was. It's uh, when the people in the, uh, the in the department heads come in and they take the till, but they don't turn off the monitor. And so you do like a $300 payout. There's no money to give away. So therefore, you have to jump to another register in order to get that money. And God forbid you don't ever forget to get that money traded and so that the tills can stay equal. This is getting to be a weekly thing with us. No bags. No plastic bags. Really, it's just it's like who didn't place the order, and we've got a Sunday. It's an NFL playoff Sunday. This place is booking. It's overbooked, and uh, we don't have any plastic bags. And how fast is it going to take us to go through all these paper bags? But man, this is this is like almost every single time we do a CTCS. So what do you think we need to break down in communication when it comes to like the bags? I realize they they made the order, but only a half a truck comes in. I mean, is it like only half the staff showed up? I don't know for sure, but I think it was. They ordered so much shit mm-hmm. that they put it on two trucks. Oh, I don't know that, but that, but that's what I heard them talking about back there. So, I'm, but it, it, it's just, I mean, there was like two whole weeks we didn't get any at all, and yep. I don't understand how a grocery store runs out of bags. But <laughs> it, 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 it passed us the hardest because we're the ones that got to deal with it. Yeah, because the thing I'm looking at is how many paper bags do we have. Is well, that, that's what we're going to We've got this. more plastic in those two down there. Yeah. Uh, hopefully until that fucking truck comes, which I don't even know what time it's coming, but we do have paper, and if we have to send somebody, then we'll end up doing that. But you got to stop what you're doing and find fucking bags. Right. Right. This is the end of the week. Right. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's get you an update on the bags. What's going to happen is our MOD, or actually it's our actual general manager, is going over to another store about maybe 15 miles away and going to get five boxes of these bags. I mean, we're in crisis mode. We don't know when the next ones are going to come in, but uh, at least he's in the car right now on our way to getting more bags on a Sunday where it's football crazy. A potential theft going on right now in South Carolina, where they make it look like they're scanning things and they're not. And see, the thing is, is that we have to go back and meet the So the cameras right now and go for a chance. This, this is Chance's big self checkout. And very professionally, he's uh, looking at her saying, no, you did not. Uh, you didn't scan that. Make sure that you scan that. And then say, oh, you know, there could be something wrong with the computer. But uh, yeah, look at that. No, no, no you didn't. We, we didn't scan. He's a smart shopper. But on this one. She had Lunchables, which she did not scan. You saw the Lunchables? Saw them. She had two of them. Oh, yeah, so, uh, and they paid the same way, and it's the same card. So if this was an Instacart, yeah. why is it the exact same number right here? Wow. Well, no, because that's the Instacart number. That MasterCard number is the Instacart number. She probably did it as two separate transactions so that she could cover up the fact that she out of stock a bunch of stuff and got her own list. But she still is still having it. Right, right. Oh my god, they didn't get me started. Oh, you kind of did. I was, and it even hit me more because he knew why he was in the fucking bathroom. Oh, I ate a whole bag of bananas, that's why I'm in the bathroom. Well, you're old enough to know better. You can have a fucking bag of bananas in 15 minutes. Like, uh, and, and, and you can't even fucking guard. Yeah, yeah. And so we're all scrambling around, and I have to go out there in the 15 degree weather to get cards. He's shitting because he ate a whole goddamn bag of bananas. Yeah. So, and, and last night he did all beans, so therefore he was just he just he's ripping us apart. I don't care. He 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 farted up here the other day in front of a new girl. And she's like, "Oh my god, he just farted." And I go, or I said his name. I got his. I go, dude, but, like, don't do that up there. And he goes, "I'm sorry." I said, "I'm sorry." 
you always say you're sorry. Walk or do that. Yes. Go so after. Or, you know, walk somewhere else. Like, <laughs> he just walks right by and doesn't try to conceal it. I'm like, oh. I'm that guy from up there at CS. <laughs> And it seems like at least once a week, I catch you on your phone and uh, you're on your phone. You're probably talking to your mom again. No. No? No. Oh, who are you talking to? My sister. Oh, man. I didn't know you had a sister. Mm -hmm. I got two sisters. Really? Really? That's crazy. Really? How can you ever talk about them? Should I tell them that you don't ever talk about them when you should be bragging about them? Absolutely. Please tell them. Let them know that they are not the brightest stars in the So are they asking for like, uh, to go buy something at the 86 store? No, my sister, she wants me to get her ranch. She wants you to pay the rent? No, get her ranch. Get her what? Ranch. Ranch dressing. You in a southern accent. <laughs> get her ranch. Get her ranch. Hey, I thought you said you to get a rent. I said, your sister wants you to pay the rent? Now get her ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, not what, what kind of dressing is that again? Ranch. Ranch. So, so, how, that, so that's an extra letter you're putting in there. It's, it's almost like a, it's like you're going R-A-A-I-A-N-C-H. Ranch. How do you say it? Ranch. Ranch. Yeah, see, you're making that word like three seconds long. When it's just, uh, what kind of dressing do you have? Ranch. Yeah, I draw it out. And what do you say it is? Ranch. 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 <laughs> All right, there you go. Another exciting edition of CTCS. I do invite you to create your own podcast. Let us behind your curtain. Be the wizard. Show us what you've got and what you go through daily. It creates conversation.